Okay, so we talked about the main project user interface. Let's now just slightly change the user interface because what's going to happen now when we create a brand new workflow, we're going to kind of jump ahead a little bit. I'm going to point out various kind of changes to make you aware of. So let's just hit the create new workflow here. Don't worry too much about what I'm doing at this particular stage. We'll worry about this in just a moment. But what I wanted to do is point out what are we currently looking at and what is important for you to know as you start building out your workflow. So as you can see here, this kind of dotted area here, I'm obviously using the dark theme here. And of course, if you went up to your profile, you can go to theme and you can say light there. I can get blinded here by the whites. Now I like to use my UIs in a more dark mode because I don't want to uh, kind of get eye strain. So um, forgive me, but um, during the rest of this series, I'm going to be covering everything in the dark mode. So pretty well much here, you see, this is kind of your working kind of canvas area, I like to call it. It's kind of where you're going to kind of define all of the logic for your particular workflows of inside a build ship. On the this particular section here, this is going to kind of build up as you start creating the logic with inside build ship. This particular area here is going to kind of expand out and you can actually move kind of pieces around. You can kind of group various pieces together, um, but I'll cover that a little bit more. And of course, you want to remove that from view. Just hit that little icon there and it collapses and but I like to generally have it expanded but of course if your workflows become quite complex and you need a little bit more screen estate then feel free to collapse that now on the right hand side you can see here I've got this like little feather icon that it looks like I can actually create some notes this is actually really quite useful because it, as you're kind of like building these things out and you're kind of like you know getting quite complex then that little notes area is really really handy and I do like to use that myself just to kind of describe perhaps some of the stuff that's kind of happening and one little tip as well sometimes if I'm looking to uh, use a kind of test data with inside this particular workflow and again we'll cover that again later but um, I like to paste some test data in there which I can kind of refer back to again and again um, certainly as I'm kind of working uh, the logic through some of these particular workflows now this these particular areas up here of course you can test these workflows um, you can version track them so of course you can kind of go back in history and you can kind of uh, maybe if you've made a mistake along the way and you kind of think oh it's all gone horribly wrong well you can of course you can revert back and of course this magic button here is kind of what uh, turns your uh, your kind of your workflow in from a kind of like a, a design mode and it actually ships it out into production servers and of course you can then use that um, in your other applications but again we'll cover that a little bit later. So at the top here, great little area here, just double click if you need to kind of change your workflow. I'm just going to put that there, press enter, and you can see here that um, my workflow name has changed on the left hand side. And that now draws my attention to this particular part of the UI. And of course, this is where I'm going to build out all of my particular workflows. And of course, you can create kind of like folders to these things as well. So let's create a brand new folder here. I'm just going to say test folder like that, hit create. And of course, I can drag this workflow and I can drop that into my, oh, there we go drag into my test folder and I can kind of group all of my workflows together. So, you know, it's just a way for you to be able to tailor your UI to however you actually need it. And of course, I can search kind of workflows up here, which uh, might be convenient if you certainly have uh, got a lot of workflows that you need to kind of uh, look for. Now, at the bottom here, um, I've got this logs area here. I'm not going to expand that at this particular time, but this particular area here, we'll cover this around testing a little bit later. But of course, if things don't play out as you would expect them to um, when you're developing um, or testing these things out you're going to want to kind of expect the logs area there because it's going to give you some probably some critical detail that you're going to want to kind of use to kind of uh, sort of work out what is going wrong with your particular workflows so the little bit that I just want to add up the top here is this these kind of buttons here you've got this add node option here again I'll hit that right here this is going to allow you to kind of choose those kind of independent pieces of logic that you can kind of uh, put together with inside your workflow again we'll come back to that very shortly here you've got this generate option here if you want to use the power of AI to kind of generate something that isn't here again this is the place to do it and again we'll cover that a little bit later and of course I've got a convenient option here for you to hit the little uh, pen here and it takes me straight into that particular panel so we can come back and cover that a little bit later so let's now move on to the next part